Choice. It's false. Better. No way. Goldo. Not this time. Raccoon. Not a chance. So, <laughs> that SDCC prediction video aged about as well as a banana on a sidewalk on a summer day. Cause damn, was I way off. Now, two of these releases make sense to me. One of them is like, uh, I guess it's completely out of left field. I, I would have never predicted it at all. Never would have been on my radar to even predict it. Um, so let's start off with releases that make a little sense to me. Trunks to go along with the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta with that new head sculpt. And of course Final Battle Jiren to go along with the reissue of Ultra Instinct Goku in September. Okay, quick little tidbit. Ultra Instinct Goku does come out for, in September if you order it from like a Japanese website, but it'll be November just like that Vegeta. If you order it from like Big Bad Toy Store, which is usually goes by Western release dates, not how it comes, not the dates that it comes out for in Japan. So easy pairings right there. You can do your father son Gallic gun, and you can also have Ultra Instinct Goku fighting Jiren in his uh, limit break form, or what do they call it? Final Battle Jiren. Now, as as far as the aesthetics for the figures. Of course, the Goku looks fine. The Jiren looks fine. The Trunks is the one that I've seen have the worst reception to it. The whole per the whole body being pearlescent, eh, not the choice I would have went with, <laughs> especially for like the jean jacket and whatnot. But you know, what are you gonna do? I think people will still pick it up, especially if uh, they didn't get the original one. They could get this one for retail now. In terms of prices. Wouldn't be surprised if it's something similar to last year. The Goku, the Gohan, he might be like 70 or 85, who knows. Trunks, easy 75, Jiren 85. Like, and that's USD by the way, I mean. So, I don't know, these, these event exclusives are probably the ones that I've been least hyped about <laughs> since uh, I've been covering. These exclusives. Jiren is fine. I already have the original Final Battle Jiren, so not a big deal for me. But I do, I can't lie. I do like the finish on this Jiren. I really do. I think the matte body with the, you know, the pearlescent pants or spandex, I think that looks pretty good. I think Trunks might be the weakest one here, but it looks like they uh, updated the face plates a little bit. And, you know, just from this one picture, it looks pretty good. The Goku, of course, matte finish. And if it comes with the Nimbus Cloud, I think that might be the chase figure here. Because that Nimbus Cloud is going to be something that people use for a long time to come. And that's if it actually comes with the Nimbus Cloud. Now, you might be saying, yo, bomb, that's stupid. Why would it not come with the Nimbus Cloud? Because Metal Cooler was standing on that goddamn rock and it didn't come with the rock. And, if <laughs> and he was, I believe the rock was in the promo photo. Or at least in decent amount of the photos if it wasn't the promo photo so that's why I say if we get the Nimbus now if we do get that Nimbus hey I can see people just getting it for the Nimbus and then you know taking it from there they'll they'll use a more updated Goku mold and whatnot trunks is well, those trunks it, will this come with the actual spirit sword who knows Jiren uh, I don't know I'm assuming that at least Trunks and Jiren will come with that uh, aura effect that they tend to always want to package in with these exclusives. Um, but yeah, what do y'all? How y'all feel about it? I got well, I already got a gist of how some of y'all feel, but you know, people that might be new to the channel and whatnot, how do y'all feel about it? Cause eh, I don't know. I have mixed feelings. I think they're good re-releases, at least for Trunks and Jiren. The other figure in Goku. Well, it is a, so it is basically a re-release at this point, you know. Of course, it's probably gonna have a bunch of different heads that we haven't seen before, you know, more reflective of that early 
Dragon Ball Z art style. Um, very curious what the prices would be for these going to be. Of course, I was just spitballing the prices not too long ago, but very curious to see. Maybe it'll be fairly similar to what we got last year for SDCC exclusives. So maybe Jiren could be something like, nah, I think about it. If Majin Vegeta was 75, eh, I can see Trunks being 75. The Goku, the Goku is a tricky one. Because Goku, if he comes with that Nimbus Cloud, and then he got the little Gohan, I could see them hiking that up to 80, 85 dollars. And Jiren, I could just see being 85 dollars off the strength. That he's a little bit of a bigger figure, you know? And we've seen how arbitrary the prices can be. <laughs> what was it? It was like the two pack with Gohan and Goku it was 90 and then Raditz was 85. And I was like, uh, two whole figures? It's only $5 more than Raditz with the little bitty Gohan statue, basically. But hey, I don't make the rules, you know? And once again, yo, people. And for anybody that want to type that, type a comment like, oh, you don't have to buy it. If it's too expensive, you don't got to buy it. Obviously, I don't. But I'm just saying the prices don't make sense. That's what I'm saying. You know, at least not to me. Maybe you can make heads or tails of it. But sometimes, the, a lot of times, I was going to say sometimes the prices don't make sense. A lot of times the prices don't make sense. You know, if this is priced this way, then why is this price this way? But for this here in particular, um, we don't know the prices just yet. Like I said, as a recording of this video, maybe when it's revealed, it'll probably be close to what I said. 75 for the Trunks, 85 for Jiren, 85 for the Goku, especially considering if he comes with that Nimbus clap. Because that's a huge chunk of plastic, you know? Especially if it's solid all the way through. But. Yeah, that's my initial reaction to this. Hopefully we get the prices soon. Then I'll do a follow-up video. In fact, I kind of wanted to just wait for the prices, but who knows how long it's going to be. You know, it could be tonight, which is when this will be uploaded because I'm recording this in the morning. Or it could be tomorrow. Who knows? But with that being said, this has been Bombastic Plastic. Stay fantastic. Also, just a small note. I just realized that Last year, I made a whole series of predictions for trying to predict what the New York City Comic Con exclusives would be. And it ended up <laughs> that one was one of the exclusives that I tried to predict it being was funny enough, Jiren. And in another video, I did predict Trunks. But wrong place, wrong time. That's all I wanted to add. Peace. Make it double. Hey, yo, real quick, I want to share. Uh... Uh, give my man no credentials some credit, right? Um, one thing I'm giving him credit for is that he, he called the Jaren thing, and I wanted to I'll put the screenshots on the screen, right? Yo, he called as soon as he saw that that Goku reissue. He said, "Watch this lead to an event, Jaren." Now, in my head, I figured that it would lead to a Jaren, yes, but not an event exclusive per se, you know? But Either way, because I had my heart set on the Genyu Force. That's the main thing. I had my heart set on the Genyu Force. I probably could have thought about really put my bias aside, you know. But with that also being said, he also put forth another theory. He was like, yo, think about it. Um, Goku, this Goku goes along with Raditz that came out last year. I was like, hmm. And the Majin Vegeta goes along with who? The Super Saiyan 2 Goku that came out the year before that. So if we keep on following this line of logic, right? Could this Trunks potentially be to merge to Masu? Or, as somebody asked me before, a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta re uh, event exclusive, or both, next year for SDCC. And if we follow that logic, uh, here's the part that I'm adding right here. Um, and if we follow that logic with uh, Goku, does that mean we're gonna get a reissue for uh, Saiyan Saga Vegeta? And if we do, please, if you let it, if they let it be a, the first appearance colors, I would lose my mind, even if it's a 2.0. And yeah, I know, like, you know, I'm on to the 3.0 ways, but if, even if it's a 2.0, a first appearance Vegeta uh, colors on a 2.0 mode, I'll take it. Oh, man, I would eat that shit up. 
Well, with that being said, peace for real this time.